And welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. We got the guys here and we're gonna show you a single stage black paint job on this 1990 Trans Am. And once again, we're joined by Pedro and his son. This was actually a father and son project that they worked on over the course of many months to get this right. And eventually they wanted to resell it. And this is exactly what we have going on here. This is a full spray job in single stage black, true single stage, no clear coat on top. And we're gonna show you exactly how we do it today. And as the guys get this thing taped up, let's talk about the surface preparation. We can see a lot of different layers of paint. And some of you might think that entering the booth with some of these layers is a no-no. Well, it is if you're not going to seal. We're gonna be sealing this car up in a black 2K sealer, so we're not gonna to have to worry about any of this. But I would tell you, if you guys do not plan on sealing the vehicle, it is probably a good idea to get a full coat of primer on here and then maybe sand it down with a 600 so you don't have that many burn throughs. But from this point, if you're gonna seal, it's perfectly fine. If you have any metal showing through, you can always hit it up with etch. We're gonna go ahead and get everything masked up, but leaving enough area so we can open the doors and just spray the inside. Now this is a minor budget restoration, so a full restoration, everything would be off the car, but we did take everything for the most part off of the car, but the doors stayed on. A couple things did stay on like the bumper, so you really have to find what your price point is and what your project is and decide what you want to do with that. Single stage, pretty budget, economic friendly paint. It's going to be really nice when it's all done. So let's get it all finished up. And as the guys finish up the masking, we can see that the car used to be probably white at one point. So if we look at the layers of a paint job, we can really tell the history of its life. So if this is a full restoration, this would be completely taken down the middle. But originally in 1990, it was painted white. And then that little gray line right there, that means it was reprimered and painted white again. And then from there, it was scuffed up and painted black, no primer in between. Then it was reprimered and then it was painted black again. And now we're adding the primer and it'll get painted black again. Now, that's just the history for that door. I'm not sure if that is the true history for the whole entire vehicle, but it's gonna be pretty similar. We can see some uh, traces of white and inside the door. So this was repainted black and this is exactly what we're gonna be doing. So a little open and close action while we spray. Now one key, if you're gonna do it like this, that Pedro went and took the lock and he moved it. So now this door actually cannot close completely. So if you were wondering, how you would get it open if you closed it in between coats. Well, that's just the way because now, look at this, it won't close. So that's just a little quick pro tip. If you're gonna be doing it like this, it'll really help you out, do it all at once. Now the step right before you go ahead and paint is gonna be the prep cleaner. Now, Yandi and Pedro have their prep cleaner and their brand new shop towel rags. And I'll put a link in the description for this type of prep cleaner, but this is gonna remove all contaminants from the surface and I like to work at least one panel at a time, really soak up the actual panel itself, and then you're gonna wipe down the panel and that will remove any of the contaminants that are on the panel. Guys, if you miss this step, you are going to get contamination issues or paint adhesion issues, so you must, must, must do this step. And you don't need to put it in a pump sprayer, but if you do, it's gonna make life easier. If you don't put it in a pump sprayer, just soak up one towel with your cleaner and then another dry one, and you'll be good to go to wipe it down. So this process will be completed on the whole entire vehicle right before you paint. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes after you do this, just so any solvents that are still lingering maybe somewhere within the crevices or on the panel itself can completely evaporate and dry. And as a final prep, the guys are blowing lightly with air and a tack cloth. And what this will ensure is that any remaining lint will be taken off of the panel. Now, I will tell you this, guys. This does not ensure it's going to come out 100% clean. But these are the things that you need to do in order to give yourself a chance to get a clean spray job. And basically guys, what a tack rag is, it's got a low tack to it. 
So it's going to pick up any sort of dust or lint that's still on the surface. So here's that single stage paint that we're going to be using. Now we used Nason before in our videos and we have great success from this. So this is going to be a true single stage, no clear coat. So this is an eight to one to two mixture, meaning you're going to have eight parts to one part to two parts. So you can find this on a mixing cup as well. So from here, basically this is a gallon. We'll mix it all up and we're going to do two coats and that's all it's going to take. So here's our mixing cup and it's eight to two to one, but this is eight to one to two. So we have to be creative. So number six, the max amount of paint we can use will come up to here. And our activator is not going to come all the way up to the next one because that would be two parts. We want one part. So all we'll do is just split it right in half. We'll put our activator halfway. And then from here, we need that two part. So we're not going to put it um, up to here. We're not going to split that. We're just going to go two parts. So that's basically going to be right back at this one right here. So you kind of have to be creative with the way that you're doing your mixing. Of course, if you do this on the scale, it'll be fine. But most of you guys, you don't have the scales. So we'll get this mixed up. We'll start applying it. Let me show you what the sealer is supposed to look like. Now, going back to my earlier point, if you are not going to seal, then you should have your primer basically all in one color with not a lot of cut throughs. This is really going to help with your coverage. But we are spraying black, so when spraying black, it's probably best to spray a black sealer because then you can ensure that you're only going to need about two coats of your single stage. You see, single stage is going to be filled with a lot of more solvent, and that can cause runs and solvent pop and a lot of different issues. So we don't want to be getting our coverage really in our single stage. We want to have a color that's very similar to what we're going to be spraying. So Pedro and Yandi, Yandi joining us once again to help us out with this project, are both using the W400s and they're putting it on with a 1.4. Now you can use a 1.3 or a 1.4. It doesn't really matter. It really matters on your preference. Now one thing you do not need is two painters to paint this car, but we're all pretty good friends and we enjoy doing our projects together and it definitely does help out. So what is this 2K sealer going to do? It's going to seal off any burn throughs you might have to other types of primer underneath. And it's going to get everything in one color and give you a beautiful substrate for painting your vehicle. Now sealer does add a little bit of dirt, but it's going to help you to get out of your single stage coverage much quicker. But if you do it right, it'll come out clean. So this has been drying for a good 20 minutes and it's ready to go. Now, how do you know it's ready to go? Well, based off looking at it as painters, we know it's flashed off. But if you're unsure, just go ahead and touch an area that is not the surface and it should be dry to the touch. You shouldn't be transferring anything over to your finger. Now, I will tell you guys, you don't want to wait too long. So you can't seal your car and then paint it 24 hours later in most systems. Uh, most systems just have a 12 hour window. If you're going to seal this one day and come back 24 hours later, then you're gonna to have to give it a light scuff, which isn't a bad thing either. You scuff it up with maybe like 600 grit, and that's actually gonna help it come out a little bit cleaner. The only problem with the scuff is sometimes you go down to the primer and you'll have more coats that you'll need to cover with the base because now this is all one color. So if you can, get everything done at once, get yourself set up, your day set up, spray the whole job and be done all at once if this is the case for you. Keep on going, keep on going. Right there, perfecto, perfecto. Now we take our activator, just a little bit above that yellow line right there. Whole thing, no? Yeah, yeah, just right there. See, perfecto. You know our measurements are perfect. So you see right? Octria. And then our reducer will come right to that original uh, last six. Keep on going, Pedro. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. You put your tape a little bit low. Yep, right there. So glad I don't have this job, bro. See, learn. Perfection. Learn. Oh, don't get cocky. You got two more to go. All right. Don't waste the paint. Oh man, you're good. Man, where'd you learn how to do this? Ah, over the years. Over the years. The guys are ready for the first coat of the single stage. Now, I will tell you guys, do not lay down your single stage wet on the first coat. The reason why I do like sealer is because a lot of the times a newbie or a do-it-yourselfer is gonna try to get full coverage 
and that is when you're gonna get runs. You need to let this first coat really tack up when doing single stage or else you're gonna be on the floor before you know it. So the guys are gonna put it on medium wet. It's not gonna look beautiful, but we're okay with that because on a second coat, we're really gonna lay it down. Let's get rolling. Now I would say about 75% of our viewers are do-it-yourselfers and they're not gonna take every little thing off. So you're gonna have to get creative with the way that you spray. We can see Pedro here, he put down one coat on the underside of the panels and inside of the trunk jam. And then from there, once he put it down, he lightly closed the hatch, but didn't completely seal it. So these are just ways to get paint around all of the edges and not have to worry about taking every little thing off. Now on this first coat of single stage, again, not too wet. We already have our coverage with our sealer. We just want to introduce the sealer to the actual panel itself. Now if we try to put too many coats on or too wet, what could end up happening is we're gonna have runs. Now although in the video it looks super shiny and wet, that's a satisfaction you actually get with single stage. It might be a little bit peely in some areas. Now the reason why I love black single stage or any solid single stage is because your prep work doesn't need to be 100%. If you have something that's just a little bit off or a pinhole or a crater, nine times out of 10 you can spray just a little bit more of that single stage and it's gonna fill it in and smooth it out and you can always come over with 2000 later on. That's why I suggest a single stage paint job for a vehicle that you don't really care too much about. You just want to make it look better. It's an older vehicle and it doesn't have a color code necessarily that you need to respray it with. So after the first coat, the guys gave it a good 15 minutes and they went right into it with the second coat. Now, the reason why you want to get into it quick enough after 15 minutes is because you want that second coat to not completely flash or smooth over. If it smooths over, we're not gonna have that stickiness. We want that stickiness like the backside of a piece of tape. And what that's going to do, it's going to grab that second coat and it's going to give you a chance to lay it on wetter. Instead of on the first coat putting it on full wet, that sealer is smooth when it dries, but that first coat of single stage will be tacky. So by following this procedure, you're gonna better your chances of laying down a nice, clean, smoother paint job. Now here we have Yanni picking up right where Pedro left off and that is what we call keeping the wet edge. With two painters, that really does help out a lot. But again, if you're gonna do this, make sure that you are spraying away from the exhaust and finishing with the exhaust closest to where you're at. This will allow all of the exhaust to be brought over the whole entire vehicle and not new overspray being dropped into fresh paint. You don't want that because it might not melt in on a hot day. Now what I love about this project most is that Alain, Pedro's son, is going to be joining him in painting the last parts of the vehicle. Now Alain is actually a mechanic, a technician, he's never painted before, but this really humbled me in this moment to watch this happening because this is why a lot of my do-it-yourselfers join Paint Society because they never picked up a gun and it brought me back in time a little bit and showed me, hey, this is not as easy as it may look in the beginning, but if you watch enough videos and you try enough, you're gonna get the hang of things. Perfect. <laughs> and thanks again for Pedro for letting me come over and do this video, man. It looks really good. I do appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you have another project for me and father and son project, man. I think you're gonna be a future painter if you don't wanna be a mechanic. <laughs> Well, here she is, guys. This is after two wet coats, true single stage. I gotta say, it looks fantastic. I will tell you, there's nothing like a base coat, clear coat, finished job, but for an economy, single stage, air correct paint job, I believe this might have been even single stage from the factory, this thing looks beautiful. And the ease of it for a do-it-yourselfer, really 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 is a great idea for someone just starting out that wants to get their car or project all in one color stick with the solid colors it's going to help you out don't try to do a single stage metallic don't recommend it guys but check it out i mean for a father and son project i gotta say the body work looks really really good they prepped everything at their house and then brought it in and got this thing all sprayed in now can you buff a job like this? Certainly you can, but you gotta be careful. You don't wanna buff too much of it out because you'll be removing the material. I would suggest not going any lower than 2000 
when buffing it, but honestly, I don't feel like this actually even needs it. There might be a couple areas that have a little bit of dry spray here and there on your project, so just use 2000 for that. But what do you guys think of this true single stage paint job? Everything came out really, really nice, including the hood. The hood looks good. A lot of body work went into this actual hood as well. And you can see that the clarity is really good. Not the same as a clear coat paint job in my opinion, but for what the project is, it came out fantastic. I mean, look at this. But look at this finish. Look at this finish. Look what they did. Let me know what you guys think of this actual job and how it came out. And Pedro, father and son project, that's what it's all about. And that's what Paint Society is all about. So I hope that this project inspired you guys to maybe get in your garage or get into your shop and get that project going, maybe with your family member or maybe just by yourself. Work those long nights, those days, and have fun with it. And hopefully it comes out something just like this and it's a memory that you can always have. But until my projects are done and your projects are done, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next episode.